I'm Davey. I'm awesome. Welcome to the Comic Corner, where you guys make comments on my videos, and I respond every week. And in between responding to your comments. If a tree falls in the woods and nobody is around to hear it, my dog will still bark at it. <laughs> so, kicking off this Comic Corner with last week's Comic Corner, he's my son. You know, Rainbow Friends World. My son has his own YouTube thing. Daniel DeLeon69 commented, My wife told me to take the spider out. Went out, had a few drinks. Nice guy. He's a web designer. <laughs> then my brother Josh, the film bestie, commented, Wait, you don't like the flag? You don't appreciate old glory? You one of them Australians from Austria? Your lack of patri... Patrio... Tist... Tisk? Patriums, um, with yogurt. I like our flag, but not as a belt. Then my brother Josh, the film bestie, commented, Stop calling me Jace, but we are not the same. I'm from Nevada. He's from New York. I have an American accent. He has a Canadian one, like all New Yorkers. I'll stop calling you Jace, bud, when you stop being Jace, bud. As far as your accent, it's not American. It's alcoholic. <laughs> Then my brother Josh, the film bestie, commented, You say you were a Deadpool fan since the early 90s, yet you didn't talk about him until the mid-90s. Liar! Dude, shut up. Then Jamie Cool commented, I recommend your channel all the time. Well, good. Keep it up. Maybe a few of these subscribers have been because of you. And when we get to 640, you get another dance break. Then Jamie Cool commented, Pretty sure once MJF loses the title, it will go back to the international title. Although, I wish it would go back to All-Atlantic. I liked that name better. It was more original. I'll give you it was a little more original, but... I don't know. International, to me, just sounds more prestigious. Because, honestly, it just comes down to, if I'm on the West Coast, why do I care about the Atlantic? Then, Jim McCool commented, Chuck Norris can see John Cena. Chuck Norris can build a snowman out of rain. <laughs> I opened up a trampoline company that I disguised as prayer mats. Profits are going through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to these awesome stories, Stupid Instructions Part 2, where I went through some more products that have really stupid instructions. Daniel DeLeon69 commented, I wonder if DVD players got discontinued or people just stopped using them. Because I used to own one, but now they don't work anymore. Jay McCool responded, Are you serious? Daniel De Leon responded to that. Of course I'm being serious. I was just curious. Okay, let's not fight. This is a channel of fun. But I can't really blame him for asking that. I mean, yes, dude, they're still very, very much available. Granted, there's not like a wall of DVD players anymore when you go places, but they're still very easy to find. A lot of people still have DVDs. Most of them, I will give you this, they're Blu-ray slash DVD players. But, yes, still very available. Then my brother Josh, the film bestie, commented, Prepackaged daiquiris. Instructions? Thaw, pour into cup, drink it. Okay, is that the order? Or do I drink it, thaw, and then pour into a cup? Or, or do I pour it into a cup first, drink it, let it thaw? I mean, you gotta tell me one, two, three. I can't, I can't figure that out on my own! Then my brother Josh, the film bestie, commented, on a hair dryer. Do not use while sleeping. Do you expect me to dry my hair when I'm awake? On a frozen dinner. Serving suggestion? Defrost. But that's just a suggestion, right? On a kitchen knife. Warning. Keep out of children. That was just on one product. But my brother and I saw it when we were in our teens. My mom had just bought a new, like, block of kitchen knives. And it actually said keep out of children. Not keep out of reach of children. Or anything like that. It said, keep out of children. So apparently, you can't store your kitchen knife inside a child. On a food processor. Not to be used for the other use. That still gets me. What other use? What else are they using the food processor for? To summon the devil? On children's cough medicine. Do not drive car or operate machinery. So there you go, kids. If you're on cough medicine, you can't drive. Then Jay McCool commented, On those little cages for dogs, it says, not intended for children. Well, just because it's not intended doesn't mean I can't lock my kid in there, right? 
disclaimer, that was just a joke. I don't lock my kids in a dog cage. I'm not going to pretend I haven't thought about it, but I don't. Some alligators can grow up to 15 feet, but most only four. <laughs> Metal Buddy is Awesome Wrestling, where I reviewed SummerSlam 2024. Great show. Daniel DeLeon69 commented, I was surprised to see your reaction when Logan Paul lost to LA Knight. The only way you're surprised is if you haven't really been watching, because I've made it very clear I hate Logan Paul. Then Daniel DeLeon69 commented, Yeah, I totally agree with you. SummerSlam 2024 was freaking awesome. Lots of stories being told, and not to mention the return of Roman Reigns as a babyface, because people are calling him the wanted hero. The WWE were desperately trying to push him as a babyface, but it didn't work. But now that he's back, the fans are really excited to see him back. I haven't heard anybody calling him the wanted hero. But yes, fans are excited to see him back. And this might actually be a babyface run that works. Because it makes sense. Then my brother Josh the Film Bestie commented, No more titles and title belts. Bracelets. Friendship bracelets on the line. The World Heavyweight Friendship Bracelet. FBW. Friendship Bracelet Wrestling. Coming soon to PBS right after Sesame Street. Then my brother Josh, the film bestie, commented, While I've got your attention, I'd like to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. <coughs> then Jay McCool commented, SummerSlam was really good, but Roman Reigns being back makes me nervous. I don't want him being champion again. I don't see that happening. Not just because he's, again, on a part-time schedule, but he's not going to be able to top that three-plus-year reign. So... If it does happen, I don't see it happening right away. But I do see this being pushed until WrestleMania 41, having the rubber match between him and Cody Rhodes. Then again, there's also rumors that it just might be Cody Rhodes and The Rock. So we'll see. There's a new movie coming out called The Tractor. I've only seen the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> then on my Davies Awesome Food, where I reviewed another of the Deadpool Wolverine DiGiorno pizzas, the Spicy Wolfie Pie. My brother Josh, the film bestie, commented... Why don't they sell these in Carson City? Not that I live there. If any future stalkers are reading. Come to think of it, yes I do. For all future stalkers. I'm a lonely man. Well, uh... Good luck with that. Uh, I think they sell them at Walmarts. And only Walmarts. But I, I could be wrong about that. That's the only place I've seen them. The only one I would say is really worth it is the Gimme Chimmy. Then Jimmy Cool commented, I was thinking about trying this, but I'm not big on spicy foods. Now I saw this review, I'm gonna pass. Yeah, I mean, it's not that exciting. It's not spicy very much. Got a tiny kick. But it's just a generic pizza. My son asked, Dad, what's a forklift? I said, usually food. <laughs> Daniel Buddy's Awesome Movies, stop or my mom will shoot. Daniel DeLeon69 commented, I didn't know Sylvester Stallone was in this movie. Then you didn't know the movie existed, because how could you not know that? Then my brother Josh, the film bestie, commented, Picture it, 29 Palms, California, 2007. A young, handsome Spanish Adonis with a Viking physique that screamed, Don't need no shield, now watch me bleed, was approached at his drive through order window by a sweet mocha-skinned shield maiden with eyes like a vulture and lips like a... Uh... Something hot. This cunning scamp became weak in the knees, and lost hold of his voice, while he gazed longingly into the eyes of desire and said, I bet you were really sexy in diapers. To say that Valhalla's hero made an error in judgment would be an understatement, as he still has to inform any new neighbors that he is considered a danger to be around. Moral of the story, never tell Holly Berry how good she must have looked as a toddler, because she definitely takes offense. That and drive through windows do not protect your nads. Who is that story about? Because... You're none of those things. Then Jay McCool commented, This is one of the few movies that my dad got me to watch with him that I didn't really like. I thought it was cheesy, but this review was funny, especially knowing that the whole thing was a big prank on Sylvester Stallone. To me, that just makes it way more entertaining. My kid put together a PowerPoint presentation on why we should go to the water park. There were several slides. <laughs> So there you have it, that's Comic Corner this week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notifications for when I post new videos. And leave a comment if you're on to be in next week's Comic Corner. Love you guys.